Hey, what's going on guys? Hope you're having a good day. As always, my name is Michael and thank you for joining me today. So today we're going to be talking about some debt strategies, right? How to pay off debt some of the most efficient ways possible. And specifically, we're going to talk about probably one of the most popular methods uh, in the last decade, I would say, and that is Dave Ramsey's snowball method. Now, some of you guys may have already heard of this. Um, and if you have, then you're probably not going to learn anything new in this video. If you have not heard from it and you do have debt that you're trying to knock out, then please watch this video because I really do think it gives you a lot of good insight as to, again, motivation to paying this stuff off and doing it the best and quickest way possible. So that's what we're going to talk about today. But before we get started, I've got one shout out to make and this one goes out to Eric Pradel, Eric Pradel, sorry about the name again, but you know, Eric had emailed me a couple months back, I think, or maybe a couple weeks back, um, about a car loan refinance, kind of answered some basic questions for him, uh, guided him in the direction that I would go, and he actually took his loan from 5.69% to 2.3%, bringing his total interest savings to $2,000. $330. So that adds another, you know, $2,300 towards my goal for the year of saving you guys $150,000. Eric, thank you so much. Congratulations on your success. I appreciate you taking the time to actually email me. And guys, if you know of anyone that needs help or if you need help, do not be afraid to get in touch with me. Um, email me, send me any Twitter message you want. I would love to hear from you guys and help out if I can. So thank you again, Eric. Now to get back to what we were talking about as far as like the whole debt payoff strategy and the snowball method, um, it's really, really simple in, in practice, guys. So what I'm gonna do is really just show you a picture, right? An illustration of some hypothetical person, some make-believe person um, and their debt situation and go over what the snowball method is and how this person would use this method to pay off their debt. So this hypothetical person that I'm gonna make up is gonna be pretty much what most people have, right? They're going to have a mortgage debt, a car loan, credit cards, let's say some student loans and a personal loan, right? That's what we're gonna go over, those pieces of debt and, and kind of what he should do or they should do in order to get this stuff taken care of as quick as possible. So let's make up some numbers and say this person has a $150,000 mortgage, they've got a $15,000 car, they've got $22,000 in student loans, they've got a $5,000 credit card, and a $1,500 personal loan. Okay, so those are the, 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 the debts, right? Let's say the, the house is, you know, 4%, the car is 8%, the personal loan will be 10, credit card will be 17, I think I'm missing one, the student loans would probably be, let's just say like four again, just like the mortgage. So what should this person do? You've got all of these different type of loans. They're all at different interest rates. They're all at different monthly payments, right? Well, you know, logic may tell you, hey, I should pay off that credit card first. That interest rate is the highest. So shouldn't you pay that one off first? And I'm not saying that this is a bad idea. You know, it totally makes sense to pay off some of the highest interest first but the snowball method approaches things a little bit differently, okay? What they would do is pay off the lowest amount debt first, okay? So if that's this personal loan of $1,500, they should focus on paying that first. Even though it's not the highest interest rate loan, they wanna get rid of that first, and I'll tell you why. The main reason why you would wanna pay that loan off first is because it's the lowest amount and because of that, you should be able to pay it off faster than anything else. So if you're paying any extra on these loans, right? If you wanna pay an extra $100 a month on your car or pay extra on your house, your student loans, this method would tell you to stop doing that and put all of that extra money onto this personal loan. Pay this personal loan off as quick as you possibly can, right? For, for two reasons specifically, one, it's just motivating to get the first thing knocked down, right? If your debt is a, a, you know, a rail of dominoes, it all has to start off with paying that first one off first, right? And then when you knock that domino down, then, you know, it's going to fall into the next one and so on and so on and so on. That debt will be paid off, but you have to knock down that first domino, right? In this case, it's the personal loan, right? So really there's motivation in getting that paid off, but not only that, Here's kind of the secret to the whole program, 
right? What you do is once you pay off that personal loan, you take whatever you are paying each month on that personal loan, right? If you were paying $150 a month and you've paid off the personal loan now, don't say, oh, I can save $150 a month or, or even worse, now I've got $150 extra each month to spend, right? That is not what you should do. The program would say, take that $150 and now start paying that much on the next loan, right? In this case, it would be the, uh, the credit card, right? Now you can start tackling that credit card off. And in addition to, to whatever you were paying as far as the credit card monthly payment goes, now you're adding an extra $150 a month on top of that because you don't have the personal loan payment anymore, right? So it's snowballing. And then once you get the credit card paid off and the personal loan paid off, who knows, maybe you have like $250 extra each month um, that you don't have to, to pay on those debts because they're already paid off. Now you can tackle the car loan, right? That's $15,000. And guys, like I said, it's just snowballs. It's very, very simple. All you do is take your debts, line them up, look at the dollar amounts and say, okay, I'm gonna pay off the smallest one first. And after I've paid it off, now that I no longer have to pay on that each month, I'm gonna take whatever I was paying on that loan, put it on the next one. Pay that one off and take that dollar amount, put it on the next one, and just over and over and over. Right, you know, a lot of people, you know, have a mortgage that they, they expect to pay off in 30 years, right? You, most people get a 30 year mortgage. Well, what if all of their debt is paid off? Right? They have no credit card debt, no personal loan debt, no credit card, no student loans, no auto loans, like all that stuff is paid off. Well, now they can take all of that money right, and start applying that onto the mortgage on top of the actual mortgage payment. So who knows if their mortgage payment is $1,000, but they're paying $2,300 a month because they've, they've been used to paying that much spread amongst you know five loans. Well, now that they've only got one loan left, they're gonna just knock the crap out of their mortgage. They may pay it off in 10 years as opposed to 30, and because of that, they'll save just buckets of money and interest. So the main goal, obviously, is just to pay off debt. However, this snowball method, I think, is a very, very good way to approach it because it's simple and it's motivating. You know exactly where you need to start, and more than likely, because it's gonna be a smaller type of loan, it'll be paid off relatively quickly. That's gonna be a good feeling for you. That is gonna give you inspiration to go on to the next one. And before you know it, maybe you've got two or three loans paid off, and you're like, you know, damn, I'm gonna be debt free here pretty soon, and you'll throw even more money at your payments each month. And it's just, I know I've said this before, a very motivating thing to do. So that's what I wanna talk about today. This is really just a very basic outline of the Dave Ramsey snowball method approach. So uh, if you've got any really, really specific questions, always check out his videos. He's got a YouTube channel where he talks about all this stuff. Um, and I'll put a link down to that below just so you can have his channel as well. But that's what I wanna talk about today. Guys, if you've got any questions, as always, email me. Uh, send me a message. I'd love to hear from you guys. Comment below, you know, if you think this strategy is right for you, if maybe it's not right for you, uh, whatever the case may be, I would love to hear from you. But thank you for watching, guys. Take care. Have a good day. Hey guys, thanks again for watching this video. I hope you learned something new from it and you were able to strengthen your financial position. I'm going to keep coming out with more videos, so please stay tuned. But go ahead and like, subscribe, comment, and have a good day.